Hello from Bling Your Band. Today I want to talk to you about spray painting your band. Personally, I feel painting the band makes the difference between your child wearing a medical device and a helmet. I personally don't mind brush strokes, but some people do, and brush applied paint just won't be smooth. I used to pass along advice that you could stop by your local auto body shop and see if they would paint it. I say used to because when I learned more about paint, I had to stop giving this advice. The number one and number two reasons you should not use automotive spray paint or spray paint from Home Depot to paint your band are the solvents and the volatile organic compounds. You may have heard to avoid VOCs in paint. That is the volatile organic compounds. They are both toxic to children. You might think that as soon as the paint is dry to the touch, the solvents and the VOCs are gone, right? Google it, and the reality is it can take two or three months for the paint to lose these toxic components. And when I say it can, I don't mean that there was this one case where it did. I mean it's common for it to take two to three months for the paint you commonly have access to to become safe. You don't want your child's helmet to be a source of toxic fumes for two to three months. Don't use spray paint from home or automotive paint. Liquitex has a line of acrylic spray paints you can use on your band. It is water-based acrylic paint like you would find at the craft store but in a spray. No VOCs, no solvents. Water cleanup when the paint is wet. How do you know it is safe? there is a CL label right on the can. In other videos, I've mentioned an AP rating. An AP rating means you can give the product to the child to use directly. If they go crazy with it, there is not a health or safety concern with the product. This product is rated CL because it would not be appropriate to give the can of spray paint to a child. It is spray paint and it uses a form of alcohol as a propellant. Don't spray this paint near any source of heat or flame. But there aren't any solvents or VOCs to be concerned about. This is a demonstration band. If this was for a child, I would have placed an old towel inside the band to make sure that paint didn't get inside. I am going to demonstrate this product today. I sanded the band with 220 grit sandpaper at the start of the video. If you have used spray paint before, you know that several light coats is better than one heavy coat, as heavy coats can run and that does not look good. I was very happy with how this paint applied. There wasn't a hint of the paint running, and it applied very smoothly and evenly. I didn't smell any obnoxious fumes from the paint either. A side effect of the paint not using solvents or VOCs is that the paint took far longer to dry than what you expect from spray paint. In the video, if the paint has a wet look, it is wet. It took about 15 minutes for this first coat or series of coats as I touched up spots I missed to dry. The paint costs more than a bottle of paint and there was more prep work. But then again, I didn't need to purchase a brush. And the paint finish really looks professional. I really like this paint. I don't sell this paint. I can't offer it to you cheaper or the same as Amazon. So I recommend you purchase it there. This spray paint is a great option. If you use it, I hope you post in the comments how your application process went. And did you learn something you could pass along to others? And I really hope you send me photos.